Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions JP, uh, last couple days, no videos, I just got tired of uh, hearing my voice. Uh, but today, let's talk about the, uh, the last few months, and then also look at the news in JP, uh, January 15th. And I always say this, but uh, every game, uh, every year, uh, between that period, late October through to mid-January, uh, that is the, uh, the marathon time. I try to warn people, but still lots of newbies saying that there's uh, too many limited units, but I knew what was coming, so I was able to pace myself, uh, not chase everything, and I think I got through uh, without too much damage. Uh, but let's think back uh, what there was. Uh, starting with Halloween, I pulled for uh, Halloween Leela, but only 50 pulls didn't get her. I gave up. I maxed uh, the Exorcist's vision card. Let's see, I maxed Garble after pulling him uh, guaranteed in that uh, three-step. I skipped Final Fantasy X, I skipped Bahamut, I skipped the new Christmas units. Uh, I did work on the old uh, Christmas units, and then I skipped uh, Tubi and the near vision cards, and I worked on the uh, handout 9S, but only to 115. And then I maxed some uh, vision cards in real time. Uh, Omega, Rob, Mont, and then Phoenix. And then as far as units, I used the uh, the gift Visionor from New Year's to pull him, and then I got all of the uh, the free and discounted shards. And he's at 89 right now. Uh, there's still a lot of work ahead. I have about uh, 600 more shards to get him to 120. Uh, but this actually works to show uh, kind of how generous the game is being with shards uh, post EX jobs. He is cost 100, so I don't think he's going to be typical for EX job uh, non-limited time units from now. Uh, we'll see how the next few uh, cost 70, cost 80 units are done. Uh, but it's safe to say that they're giving out more shards uh, post EX job, so that will mean more units that we can get to 99, uh, more Trustmaster, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I did max the, uh, the Mont and Phoenix uh, vision cards, so I wanted to try a uh, mono fire team. Uh, maybe put that through uh, arena or free matches or something. Uh, again, mono element teams are not at all necessary. They're just fun. Uh, but in the far future, I think they will become necessary. Uh, so that might be something to work on uh, long term. All right, and then before we look at the, uh, the news, um, I'll show you these. Uh, these are some uh, guaranteed UR vision card pulls that I did. Uh, the 2000 uh, paid vision or and then you can get the uh, five URs and then you can re-pull it. So there's two uh, pulls that I showed. Uh, both times, all five cards that I pulled uh, were ones that I already had maxed. And I'm happy that, of course, I get the Mog Medals, but not at the price of 2,000 paid vision or So I think I'm going to graduate from pulling the uh, guaranteed UR vision card banners. I suppose I could keep doing it until I get Bahamut. That would actually be uh, semi-reasonable to do. Uh, but I'm just going to stop. And so, yeah, I've graduated from pulling guaranteed UR vision cards. Uh, I've graduated from pulling the UR units. And then I've also stopped pulling for limited time stuff. I've stopped pulling for, like, new units. And so, yeah, I'm slowly whittling down all of the things that I want to spend on. So hopefully I can be spending less. And then to think about like what is left, uh, what I would pursue, um, I would buy uh, select tickets for shards uh, because I can use those for like future uh, units and EX jobs. Um, I could buy you know shard select tickets for UR vision cards. There's still a few that I've not finished, uh, especially the uh, Esper ones. And then if I need it, uh, like materials for EX jobs, since that's still kind of rare. But yeah, it's like what I said before about as your account gets stronger and stronger, and then you're, uh, you know, building up different aspects of your account, uh, when you pull for new stuff or build up new stuff, uh, the amount of impact that you have on your account gets less and less and less. And so I've reached that plateau where pulling the UR vision card hatchers is not worth it anymore. So yeah, that's where we are with that. Okay, finally, let's look at the news, although really there's only one thing to look at here. And those are new units. Here is a Ryu Eru. She is a uh, UR unit, uh, Earth Element, and then Main Job Scholar. Uh, so that's new for this game. Uh, that's originally from uh, Final Fantasy III. But it looks like it is a, um, a magician, a magic attacker, 
uh, that can take physical attacks well. So that's very weird to me. That's very similar to Kirufe. Um, of course, uh, Ryueru is going to be stronger because she's going to get to 120 uh, for having EX jobs. But I read this as like a break. You know, this is the end of the marathon from late October to now. Um, so for me, this was an easy skip. I still see lots of uh, JP YouTubers going hard on pulling on her, and I'm like, oh my god, when is this going to end? <laughs> uh, but she looks really strong. Uh, she has magic scaled strike attacks, so that's a new thing. That's going to be difficult to defend against. Uh, you're going to want high spirit and then uh, strike resistance, which can be difficult to build for. So she's going to be strong. I tried out her level 120 using her as a friend, and she was doing like, you know, six, seven thousand damage to like three guys at once, so she's very powerful. But I'm gonna skip her. Um, agility looks low, so that might be something to keep in mind. And then there is a new handout unit, the MR uh, Shiruma. And then they have it, they have like bingo boards and like missions and stuff, so that you can uh, unlock her EX jobs and then get her all the way to 120. Uh, they'll have the, uh, the 400 uh, soul orbs for you there in order to do that. Uh, she is main job uh, red mage and then sub jobs power word and green mage. So she's an interesting uh, attacker and then support character. Unfortunately from the power word she doesn't have uh, like magic resistance penetration or spirit breaks or spirit penetration so her damage is going to be sort of flat. Uh, but yeah I love red mages and then uh, her trust master I really like too. Uh, it's a sword, give you some magic, power, and then slash resistance up 8. That's really nice to have the uh, resistance both on a trust master, but also a weapon. And then also a sword, which so many characters can use. And you know that I like resistances, so that'll be good for like Mont, Sasayaki, all kinds of guys. But yeah, overall, I'm not working on anything at the moment. There's nothing I need to spend vision or. I just finished the, uh, the Phoenix vision card uh, this morning. So I'm definitely in sort of like relaxation mode after uh, that marathon. Okay, I think that'll do it for this video. Uh, other videos that I want to do this weekend, uh, I want to take uh, Sakura through that uh, behemoth, three-star Esper fight, uh, show her off. She should be coming out next week in Global. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.